Hey guys, so today I want to talk about CarPlay in iOS 26. There's a lot to talk about here. Apple has updated CarPlay with the new icons, the new UI, and I wanted to go over some of the latest new features and changes added to CarPlay with iOS 26. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the new icons. You see here on the home screen, we have some new icons, the same icons we have for iOS. Now here within CarPlay for iOS 26, we have the new liquid glass design, which is everywhere as it is to be expected here from the keypad or number pad here within the dialer to messages to music and things like that we have a nice refinements across the board but I want to start off with the new call interface and this is something that I was looking forward to so if someone was to call you using iOS 26 the latest CarPlay now offers a more compact call UI as you see right here so when someone calls you you have your you know decline or accept button here you have a notification at the bottom of your screen but you can still see see what's happening in the background so if you're using something like GPS or you know interacting with music you can still do that while the phone call appears at the bottom of the screen now obviously you can tap here and expand to accept or decline or send a message here within the latest CarPlay phone UI and I really like this new incoming call UI within iOS 26 and the latest CarPlay now Apple has also updated messages we have several updates happening in messages for one you can now back tap or reactions to messages directly within CarPlay. You also have, of course, the new UI and you have the ability to pin the conversations to the top of messages as you see right here. So you can have quick access to messages and you also have that new Apple intelligent UI as you can see right there for your messages as well. So overall, nice updates to messages and phone. Something else that's new within CarPlay and iOS 26 is you now have live activity. So in settings, you can find the new live activity options. You can enable this. So for example, if you're picking someone up from the airport, you can keep track with the live activity here as the time and flight information will appear in this section here. Obviously, third-party applications will add more live activities. Now, Apple has also added widgets. So widgets are now available within iOS 26. And let me show you right there. We have the widgets right there. I have a stack of three widgets available right now from the calendar to the battery to the clock, as you can see right here. Now, on iPhone, you can customize this. So let me show you here under the general section go under carplay select your vehicle right here and then you have two options you have your home screen icon setup which is the standard option we had before and now we have widgets so right here under widgets you have the option to enable or disable directly from iPhone you have the widgets that you currently have and you can go ahead and reposition these as you can see right there or add any new widget available in the widget drawer right here and of course third-party apps are also supported you have a rotate smart rotate so it will rotate to the widget that it thinks you may need at the time you also have the smart widget suggestions and you have the show wallpaper option for widgets as well which you can enable or disable as you can see right there directly from iPhone so a new widget UI and live activities which is something that I really like and there you guys have it these are just some of the changes happening within CarPlay and iOS 26 I'll take a deeper dive once the software is available to the general public but Live activities, new widgets, new UI, new icon. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Let me know what you think about CarPlay in iOS 26. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.